Hey guys, Dr. Malcolm here, board certified gastroenterologist and internist, here to serve all your digestive needs and gastrointestinal issues. In today's episode, we're going to talk about three things that you can do to make your reflux better without ever taking a pill. All that and more after this. In today's episode, I'm going to give you three recommendations to improve your reflux symptoms without ever taking a pill. So let's jump right into it. Number one, don't eat close to bedtime. All my patients talk about living a busy modern life. They come home late from work, they eat, and then they go right to bed. When you go to bed with a full stomach, you have more pressure in the abdomen and that can give you more reflux up into the chest. A normal stomach takes about two to four hours to empty. So you want to try to move that dinner time up a little bit. You want to give your stomach some time to empty before you go to sleep. Recommendation number two, try to elevate the head of the bed. I tell all my patients, try to sleep on some kind of incline, even if it's small. So practically speaking, you're trying to use gravity to keep stomach liquid down in the stomach where it belongs. I tell my patients to put two by fours under the top of the bed or the head post. That way they're sleeping on a slight incline. Two to four inches does make a difference. Other patients of mine sleep on a wedge pillow. I tell them to buy a triangle shaped pillow that elevates the whole torso or chest just a little bit. Recommendation number three is lose weight. I tell all my reflux patients, try to lose a little bit of belly weight. Losing just a little bit of belly weight will make your reflux better. Remember in the previous episode, we talked about patterns of weight gain. We know that patients with belly weight or apple shaped weight have more reflux. For every 10 pounds that you lose, you will have a reduction in your reflux and it'll make a big difference in how you feel. I'm so excited that you joined me in today's episode. I hope that you learned something and I hope you incorporate these recommendations into your daily life. In next week's episode, we're going to talk about natural or homemade remedies for acid reflux. Things that you can do at home to make your reflux better with homemade products. I hope you join us. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to today's video. I hope that you join me on this adventure. Don't forget that today's video is not a substitute for a doctor's visit. If you have symptoms, call your local gastroenterologist. Until next time, I hope you feel better.